Hey everybody, it's Sean again, and uh, today we're continuing our plumbing series and we are talking about drip emitters. All right, so today we're gonna talk about uh, what a drip emitter is, uh, a couple of the different types of drip emitters that are out there, uh, as well as how to install them and how to service them. So there's a lot of different types of drip emitters out there, but in general, a drip emitter is just uh, a little device that usually is installed into a flexible tubing like this poly tubing here and um, it can help you control flow to, to a plant. Um, so, so they come in sort of uh, one gallon per hour, two gallon per hour, different, different rates of flow. Uh, and it just is a way to um, more efficiently water your plants. So it'll be dripping on a, on a specific location uh, in a controlled manner. So that's kind of uh, in general, the, the purpose of a drip emitter. So there are a, a plethora of different types of drip emitters out there, um, ranging from just a, a standard drip to uh, there are misters and all sorts of different things like that. Today, we're just gonna focus on a uh, standard drip emitter. We've used um, two different types here. Uh, one of them is kind of a, a standard um, non-pressure compensating. Uh, I think this one's a two gallon per hour drip emitter. And so this one, uh, there's two kind of three parts to it. Uh, this little nozzle will unscrew. Uh, there's the body of it. This is what will be actually installed into your piping. Uh, and then inside there's a little disc with kind of a uh, labyrinth design here inside, which helps uh, control the flow. Um, so that's one type that we've used a lot in the past. Uh, these ones are nice because they're, they're really cheap. Um, so are really inexpensive. Uh, they're, uh, you can use them for a variety of different things. So we've liked those. Um, also, we've used these, uh, these are a, a clog-free drip emitter. Um, little different design. They're, they're just a, a solid piece, so nothing comes apart. It's just this, this piece here. Um, the one thing with these guys is that you have to have a, a pressure of at, at least 15 PSI for this particular one. Uh, for it to operate as it is intended. Um, so the, kind of the way it works in there, there's a couple uh, vertical um, rubber sheets with a series of holes in them. And if one of those holes gets plugged, pressure builds up behind that plug, the, the rubber gasket in there expands, allows the particle to pass through, and then you're, you're back operating again. So uh, that's kind of the clog free uh, function of it. Uh, so we've been really happy with these as well. All right, so now uh, we'll just go over quickly how to install these things. It's really simple. Um, so basically you'll have your, your poly tubing uh, running around either to uh, you know, each of your individual plants in your garden or uh, in our case, above our towers. And um, we've got a, a really simple kind of punch tool here. These are um, a variety of companies sell these. You can get them usually at the hardware store uh, sometimes they're a little bit seasonal, so if you live in a place like, like us, you're not going to find these probably in the wintertime, uh, but there's a lot of on online retailers that you can order these through. Um, but just a really simple punch, and uh, all you're going to do is wherever you want your dripper to be placed, uh, you're just going to punch through the poly tubing. It's going to make a nice little uh, consistent hole each time. Uh, the, the one thing you want to be careful about is pushing too hard and going through the back side of the tubing uh, because then you're just going to have a, a leak there. But once you punch that tubing, uh, you're going to insert this barbed end of the drip emitter and it's just going to pop right in there. And then it's going to be uh, in place there and uh, you'll be ready to go. And so uh, it's the same thing for this other style, uh, it's got a, uh, a barb on, on the end as well. It's gonna insert the same way. And so there you, there you go. Okay, so uh, once you get these, uh, these installed uh, in your system, whether it's in your hydroponic system or out in your garden or whatever, um, you're, you're really pretty much set to go. Uh, the only thing is you might have to service them every once in a while. So in particular, sometimes these guys will get clogged with uh, <clears throat> either uh, just fine material in there that gets built up or, uh, or if there's particles that get hung up in there. Um, so to service these guys, it's pretty simple. Uh, like you kind of saw earlier, this, uh, this bottom part of the drip emitter 
uh, unthreads. And typically what's gonna get clogged is this uh, little disc inside. So within this labyrinth, you'll see whatever the obstruction is and you can simply remove it, put it back in, thread it back together and you should be good to go. Uh, additionally, sometimes uh, the, the spout here or, or right inside here can get clogged. So you can either uh, blow it out um, or just, just remove it and you'll be good to go. So that just threads back together with the disc in place. Uh, with, with this style here, there's really not much service you'll, you'll need to do. Um, <clears throat> if one of these does get clogged beyond kind of repair, uh, a couple things. If you, have, if you have extra pressure capabilities in your system, like you've got a valve cinched down or something where you can increase the flow, sometimes you can increase the water pressure and the water flow and push things out. Uh, if that doesn't work, the other option um, with these being relatively inexpensive is to just remove the emitter and pop a new one in place. So those are the ways that you can uh, service these types of drip emitters. Uh, so now we'll take you around to a couple of our systems and show you how we're using uh, drip emitters in our farm. All right, so uh, this is our, our little Beto bucket system that we had outside uh, previously. Uh, we've just recently moved it inside to get ready for winter here. Um, but I uh, just wanted to show you here uh, a, kind of another example of using these drip emitters. Uh, we've got this, um, we've got two drip emitters on each bucket here. And in this case, we've actually, <clears throat> you can put a little piece of um, just this standard quarter inch uh, tubing. We'll uh, slide over the end of your drip emitter so we can extend where the drip is coming. So in this case, instead of dripping right down the in, inside of the bucket like this, we can have our, our tubing on the outside and then extend this and then it drips in the center where we want it. All right, so we're back in the uh, in our zip farm here, and uh, this is kind of the most common example that we use the drip emitters for. Uh, in these top irrigation lines, we've got drip emitters placed directly above each tower, just dripping into the top of each tower. All right, well, uh, thank you all for watching. Hopefully uh, that answered some of your questions about drip emitters. If you have any other questions about drip emitters or anything else plumbing related, please let us know in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you next time.